Good morning, St. David's. My name is Karen Marshall, and I've been asked to speak to you about the Flower Guild Ministry. Um, I am one of 12 members, and I'm here in the sacristy today with Cindy Proger, who is actually doing the flowers for this Sunday service. Um, <laughs> it is such a fulfilling and wonderful privilege to work with flowers every week. You'll notice that we are still doing um, live arrangements for your enjoyment on, at the Sunday services, even though the church is not open in the nave. We feel that that is something you can look forward to, and it is a sense of normalcy. Um, when the services are over, the next day someone, usually a volunteer from the Flower Guild, will uh, break down the arrangement and take them to church members who are either on the prayer list or we feel just need um, to know that the parish is thinking about them and to lift their day. Flowers serve many purposes um, in the life of the church. They give joy and um, lift our spirits when we see these beautiful creations. But for people who are um, sad or going through difficult times, the arrangements give them peace and comfort. I um, was asked to be on the Flower Guild with not very much experience, but I trusted that the Lord would provide me with the tools necessary to um, be a uh, contributing member. And those tools are the beautiful flowers and the women who come in every week to do the arrangements. The flower ambassadors are an important part of the flower guild that during normal um, times, they take the flowers after the Sunday services and distribute them um, to people who are on the prayer list. One of the exciting developments of um, our ministry has been the Friends of the Garden. Cindy Sagendorf, who was originally um, with us as the lead chair and person, um, has moved to Vero Beach, but before that, Cindy and I would go out into the Memorial Garden and look around and see what we could do to help uh, make it more uh, beautiful. We did uh, ask the Boy Scouts and also the fifth and sixth grade Sunday school classes to plant some daffodils, and there's about 250 daffodils on the lawn between the parking lot and the Memorial Garden this time. Um, the Friends of the Garden is a ministry. Its mission is to make sure that the garden is maintained and uh, that we still have the natural setting, which people find so soothing and enjoyable. Another mission statement is to make it accessible to the elderly um, and the physically um, challenge that they can easily get to any section of the garden to sit and to visit or just meditate. And also we're looking at having a long-term plan um, that will involve enlarging and adding to the garden itself. You know, when people see me during normal times, they'll say, gosh, those flowers were beautiful. You did a great job. And I'll always mention the person who did them. Um, but I explained that the glory goes to God because he's the person who creates these flowers. Each flower is unique and it makes a contribution in the larger arrangement. What I've come to realize is that people are the same way. We all come in different shapes and sizes and colors and we are each loved by God and unique. But when we are put together in a group, we are much more impactful. So thank you for visiting with me today. Have a blessed Sunday.